Alrighty, thank you for joining me everybody. This week we're continuing on with Lutz the Irate Primer. Come in. Let's get this started. Princess Harriet lives and is now working side by side with the savior of legend. Rumors of their cooperation have spread throughout the realm. God. The people held the belief that if the legendary hero who had come to save the world in its darkest hour supported her. This feels kind of like uh, I real warriors. But rarely did the slightest hint of a smile grace the faces of their leaders, Harriet and Luther. This really does feel a lot like uh, Hyrule Warriors before Hyrule Warriors was a thing. To the royal capital, one cast from the Monica at a time. I think we've got a decent shot at this. Yes, I agree. We have one remaining concern, though. Elise, the Sword Maiden. What about her? The Sword who now? She is a figure from legend, much like the Guardian. However, she comes from historic fact rather than folklore. Before the advent of conjurations and ephemera, this realm was once under the dominion of a great dragon called the Crimson Fellworm. The hero and her companion slew the dragon after a long battle, built a castle atop its remains to seal it away, and restore the land. Blech. He did. That's how our nation of Quento was founded. So there's a dragon pretty much underneath the freaking city that could come back at any time. That's that's a great way to Wow. Does that mean your family is descended from the hero? No, we are descendants of her companions. The hero's line is passed down through her sword and her ancient power. They have no political sway. The hero's line. Alice the sword maiden. While she has no stake in the political will of our lord, her existence remains a threat. How so? You just said she wouldn't meddle in governmental affairs. High-minded or no, it's a flesh and blood person who carries the sword. And not everything is cut and dry. So, basically, until she's on your side, she's against you. Bravo, man, bravo. The throne room. The former Prime Minister Lutz listened impatiently to his officers' reports, languishing upon the throne. How do you explain this state of affairs? I believe I ordered you to suppress the rebel army. Luther and Harriet yet live. And not only that, but our castrum demonicas are being destroyed the realm over. What is the meaning of this? The castrum demonica is indestructible, but only so long as its arx demonica remains standing, sire. Should a means be devised of breaking the barrier, Destruction is not out of the question. Excuses! I demand action! Ah, jeez.
Let me guess, she's the sword maiden. Compose yourself, uncle. Of course. How can you expect me to be composed when our castrum demonicas are falling left and right? Princess Harriet's side has the power to destroy Castrum Demonicas, and they travel with the entity known as the Guardian. They are also backed by the royal bloodline. You control the kingdom, objectively speaking, but theirs is the side with just cause. Just whose side are you on, Alice? None. I merely state the objective truth as Sword Maiden. I believe that a parlay would be in the best interest of our nation and its people. Never! The royal line tried to doom the land. There can be no peace with them! Uncle, did the former king truly seek to doom the land? How can you even ask? Castrum Demonicas and Ephemera are absolutely vital to our land's continued survival in the world. To publicly renounce them would doom us all. Our nation would fall and be erased from history. The legend and sword you protected would be gone with it. Isn't that right, Alice the Sword Maiden? Yes. Without the Castrum Demonicas, we could not maintain our borders in this world. What my uncle claims is accurate. So why was the king so set upon renouncing them and eliminating Ephemera, even knowing that? I'll have to ask them in person. So he would not parlay, but so she will. Ali. Elise the sword maiden. In person. The official claim was that the former king was struck down for attempting to cast away his nation's sovereignty. According to this version of events, his public policy was too harmful to be endured. Sword Maiden Elise accepted those claims without question. She had read the royally stamped edicts for herself, after all, and put in the effort necessary to assure that they matched the Prime Minister's claims. However, something felt as though it was amiss. What reason could a benevolent king possibly have for being so forceful about the need to expunge Ephemera and the Castrum Demonicus? The Sword Maiden who carried on the legend had a duty to maintain an accurate grasp of history. Elise took that duty seriously. So she gonna talk with us. Okay. Up, alone and unescorted, Harriet's group was surprised. But... They welcomed her nonetheless. Because Ephemera drives people batshit crazy. Thank you for your gracious reception. It is an honor to be visited by Elise, the Sword Maiden. Please, there is no need to bow. My line carries on a sword and legend, and we have no political affiliation. But Lutz is your uncle. Surely you hold sympathy for one related to you by blood. By that logic, my bond to the two of you is thicker than blood. We can all trace our lineage back to the legend after all. And what are you here to discuss? The Castrum Demonica. No, the Ephemera. I am here to learn the truth of them. What do you get out of seeing through your enemy's eyes? Your uncle is at distinct odds with us. The Castrum Demonicas are my uncle's prized possession. Should they fall, then the outcome of this war is clear to me. To which side should I devote my blade and strength? Who is worthy of my faith? That is what I wish to ascertain. His eyes are just like permeates the minds of those who use it. It amplifies violent urges and drives them to eliminate those who have not been afflicted. 
I learned this while developing the Castros, and presented my findings to the King, who issued a policy on the spot prohibiting ephemera. The Prime Minister and his allies disagreed most violently. They assassinated the King, blaming we royal siblings, and usurped the throne. Am I to believe that in the absence of evidence? You must have seen the evidence for yourself by now. Aren't you Prime Minister Lutz's niece? Are you suggesting that my uncle has already succumbed to this ephemera phenomenon? The Prime Minister we knew was a kind-hearted man who always put the nation and its people first. Father had absolute faith in him. Lutz also took point personally in preparing Castrum Demonicas in the interest of national defense. He summoned more of them than anyone, which, in turn, has exposed him to the negative effects of Ephemera. He builds Castrum Demonicas across the land for the good of the nation and its people. We, the royals, destroy them for the good of the world. The irony is not lost on me, I assure you. Luther. That's the long and short of our pitch, as it were. What you believe is up to you. But something tells me the decision has been made for you already. What do you... Lady Harriet, reporting. We have a massive conjuration reading on the plains in front of our camp. It's a Castrum Demonica summons. What? But there are no military forces stationed around here. I imagined he assembled some forces while you were making contact with us to exploit the Sword Maiden. Nay, one's own niece as a pawn. You truly have lost yourself to madness, Lutz. Uncle! Elisa's resolve. <laughs> My uncle has always been a wise and kind man. He treated me well even before I inherited the role of maiden. I've always looked up to him greatly. I have accepted everything he told me at face value. What was I about to pen in this nation's history? In the continuation of our nation's founding legend, Lady Elise. The sword and strength I inherit exist to slay the Crimson Fellworm. They must not be used to other ends. Perhaps those teachings have simply been an excuse for me to avert my eyes from reality. Lady Harriet, Mr. Luther, and you, legendary savior, guardian, let us work together to stop my uncle. If parley isn't possible, then we must at least curtail any further madness. Do you understand what your words entail, Sword Maiden? I am resolute. My uncle took the life of the king. And I expect you to see this through to the end, O oh legendary warrior. And if what we do turns out to be wrong, then by all means, turn your might and blade upon us. You needn't so much as speak the words. The role of a sword maiden substory. I'm curious. Your oh, pardon me. I'll call you Guardian, as Lady Harriet does. Greetings. My name is Elise, and I have been appointed the Sword Maiden of this era. It's a tremendous honor to meet a figure from the legend in person. But, um, aren't you also a figure from the legend, Elise? I come more from tradition than legend. In every generation, the Sword Maiden's blade and strength is passed on solely to a chosen one. Her blade and strength, huh? Sounds a lot like... Hmm. 
You must be tough stuff. I don't know about that. I've never considered comparing my strength to that of others. My strength exists for one thing and one thing only. My power is meant to be used to slay the Crimson Fellworm when it returns to life one day. My sword and the power I have inherited do not manifest except against the Fellworm. That is the nature of the legend. It is an outdated legend, fraught with burdens of obligation. Yet, I cannot make light of it. I cannot be separated from our unbroken history. As the nation tilts this way and that, my blood relatives fall like so many flies before my very eyes. Yet, I still cannot wield my strength. I can only imagine how painful that must be. But it is my duty. For I am the last line of defense against the inevitable return of the Feldworm. No matter how painful or miserable it may be at times, I have never once resented it. That's how beings of legend operate, isn't it, Guardian? I'll take those spheres, thank you. Palace of Monsters. The revolutionary army led by Harriet bore down on the royal capital and laid waste to the Castrum Demonicum. Their unbreakable momentum and their inexorable march led them to the outskirts of the royal capital where Lutz resided. A cold stone castle stood behind the walls. Harriet gazed up at it quietly, remembering her days there. Went to Royal Castle. It brings back so many memories. And Lutz is there now. Reports we're getting claim that he's condemned the followers who have remained with him to forced conjuration labor. He's a fool of a king. He's let the Castrum Demonicas and the Ephemera blind him to his own methods and purpose. Salvation for him will be difficult indeed. Never did I expect to lay eyes upon someone even more condemned than I. Let us go. We must put an end to this. Alrighty. Curses, curses, curses! What's wrong with seeking power and resources? It's all for the good of the nation. My hand is forced. I shall summon a Castrum Demonica in this place and crush this rebellion personally. Of course. Yes, justice is on my side. Why did it have to quit on me? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. We're playing through all that now, won't it? Let's try this again, shall we? Lord, Lordy, 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 Lord. At least I have the option to skip through that. Until 
Curses, curses, curses. There we go. What's no, you're not getting deja vu here. It's all for the good of the nation. My hand is forced. I shall summon a castrum demonica in this place and crush this rebellion personally. Yes, justice is on my side. Using a legend to stir the people and sow chaos in the royal family is a crime. There can be no more room for compromise. I don't care if you are a savior. Who needs one? As long as we have ephemera. Yep, he's going nuts. The legend is but a relic. With this, O oh people, O oh world, bear witness to the revision of myth itself. Alrighty, the Battle of the Central Court. Oh, I can't accept it in this one. Oh, I guess we're gonna go through this then. Now shall we? If a class deviates from the quest level, it will be automatically adjusted. Alrighty. Well, let's give my mag something to eat first. Just enough so I can keep going without any further issues. Items will not be read at the end of the quest. Okay. Yes. The battle for the Castrum Demonica is about to begin. We've confirmed deployment of the Arx Demonica and anticipate a fierce battle. Summon Buster Rams. Destroy barriers and destroy the Castrum Demonica upon interception. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Deploy. Ah, 
my goblin peoples. Die, Orkies. Barrier while guarding the ram. Attack with sword.
spank that golem. Er, orc, pardon me. to the end of the battle. Now spank that shit. Slap, slap, pow, slap, slap, pow, smack. Down he goes. Victory for us. Win. Great work. Now head on back. Alright, where's my stuff? Thought I was gonna get stuff. Oh well. Of course I'm gonna return. Oh, that's gonna be it. Thank you for 